Last night, the University of North Dakota sees their season end. Beth Hool is standing by in Boston with more from the team. Hey, Beth. Hey, Alex. It's a wrap from Boston as the University of North Dakota goes down 5-3 to Boston University. It's the second consecutive year that North Dakota has fallen in the semifinals of the Frozen Four, and it's the second consecutive year that this team tells me they deserve to win it. They played their hearts out, fighting back in the third period as they try to even the score and send this one to overtime, but in the end, an empty netter would seal the deal with under 30 seconds to play as the Terriers take down UND 5-3 feel like we we deserve a better fate with these seniors because they're just so incredible incredible human beings um, incredible teammates and incredible people too um it's, it's man everything is tough thinking about a lot right now it's it so yeah i can't uh can't talk about it right now it's it hurts that's for sure it's obviously the last time our senior class yeah, is yeah. wearing this jersey <laughs> and uh it obviously didn't end the way we wanted to but uh, we want to leave it all out there and see what happens. And uh, it's not a good feeling right now. Unfinished business again. Um, you know, it's it stings really bad right now and hurts really bad. And um, it's going to hurt for a while. Um, back to back years losing like this and back to back years playing really well and coming up short. So, um, you know, it, it hurts it hurts real bad right now. A couple of shots that snuck by, I just didn't stop a puck. And uh, I need to do that this time of year. You know, and. Uh, at the end of the day, that's my job, and just uh, I just didn't do it today. A lot of pain in that locker room last night as the University of North Dakota men's hockey team has their 2014-15 season cut one game short. Goaltender Zane McIntyre named the best goaltender in all of college hockey today, but it's a hollow victory as his team heads back to Grand Forks rather than playing for that national championship. Instead, it's Providence and Boston facing off on Saturday for the national title. Just the third time in Frozen Four history that it'll be two East hockey teams playing for the title. For the last time with UND in Boston, Beth Hool, Valley News Live Sports.